Just want to say, check out this beautiful, beautiful view. How would you not like to have that in your backyard? And then the cherry on top, Jack, is going to be waterfall. a waterfall. A nice, big, pondless waterfall. Jack's down there laboring away. What are you doing, buddy? You know, like, just digging. Just digging? Yeah. Well, since it's Friday and it's hot out, Chris is on a Gatorade run. Yep. Let's show our viewers out there in vlog land what all we got going on. So we've got the bottom pooling area done. We walked you through how we did all that. We added flow cell panels down there to strengthen the base. Jack and Chris have been working great together picking out and setting all the rocks. I'm gunslinging up there in the 304 and our next step is to set this next waterfall stone. So this thing is going to look killer. I think the clients are absolutely going to love it and we are going to get back to work so Chris doesn't think we're slacking and we will show you progress along the way. What is up everybody? It's Chris back here at Team Aquascape. Hey, I got Jack over here. We are standing on top of the reservoir for our pondless waterfall that we are creating. Today we are going to rock in the bottom of this reservoir and start building our main waterfalls coming up into this hillside. One of the neat things about this project is this cool outcropping staircase that kind of leads you down along the side of the waterfalls. The challenge with that is to not make this look like an afterthought. So we're going to have to incorporate some of these outcropping pieces along the outside and intermittent in the stream itself just to make it look like it's all one cohesive blend. As you guys have seen, they've already had an old reservoir over there. So we are going to work our magic and try and make this thing look as if it's always been there. Again, kind of outlining what we're, the goal for today is just going to be rocking in on top of the reservoir and start building those waterfalls and those cascades moving up into that hillside, creating the illusion that it's stream fed from all the way back up in there. It's going to be awesome, but rock, rock, rock today, and we are going to get going. right and then the dream team was two guys dk and jack coming at you yeah because you know we had another guy chris i don't know if you guys remember him but yeah he's somewhere in air conditioning somewhere well it's like you know like 105 outside right now he's gonna get you for that i know <laughs> all kidding aside we got the three-man dream team today dk jack and chris the rest of the guys are off and we are kicking butt and taking names on this pondless waterfall out here in Glen Ellen. just want to say check out this beautiful beautiful view how would you not like to have that in your backyard and then the cherry on top jack is going to be waterfall. a waterfall a nice big pondless waterfall jack's down there laboring away what are you doing buddy you know like, just digging just digging yeah. yeah actually the rock that we have strapped up on the excavator is going to sit right here and that's going to be our waterfall rock nice so right now when we dry fit it we realized that it was eight inches too high and so the, the pros of working with the liner is that we're able to pull back that liner and we're able to form out where we want our rock so we could carve out and we're not set to a certain shape for the waterfall because if we were then be, it'd be really tricky to matching up all the, like the heights of the rock without actually being able to pull back this liner and dig down and conform how we want our waterfalls to look 
Well, since it's Friday and it's hot out, Chris is on a Gatorade run. Yep. Let's show our viewers out there in Vlogland what all we got going on. So we've got the bottom pooling area done. We walked you through how we did all that. We added flow cell panels down there to strengthen the basin. Jack and Chris have been working great together, picking out and setting all the rocks. I'm gunslinging up there in the 304. And our next step is to set this next waterfall stone. So this thing is gonna look killer. I think the clients are absolutely gonna love it. And we are gonna get back to work so Chris doesn't think we're slacking. And we will show you progress along the way. out there it has been another scorcher out here today beautiful Chicago land as you can see behind me we've made some progress in this palmas waterfall that we're creating I love working with this weathered limestone it definitely presents some challenges but it's also very very fun to work with I love the flat tops it really lends itself to pulling off these large sheet style waterfalls we've got the basin area rocked in we've got a couple of wing wall stones you can see we've got a bunch of liner we just finished off tucking in our second overlap for the next waterfalls coming up above which should be somewhere over into there it'll dog leg to the left and then come over this rock as well as split between this rock and this rock be a nice little horsetail fall making it a little bit more interesting filling in that gap right there and if we're lucky and we play our cards right we may be able to get a little bit of something down in through there but i love how it's turning out i love this little cavernous area between this rock and that one it'll just be a really neat area for maybe like a big iris or some kind of aquatic plant tucked back in there right in that area right in through there to soften that area up as well as give some verticality. It's a challenge working on these slopes, but at the same time, it's a heck of a lot of fun because it just allows us to really change directions and build these beautiful tall waterfalls. Just really pleased with how it's coming along. And the guys are gonna do a fantastic job while I'm out next week working with Bernie out at Skyline Ponds. So there will be a video coming for that as well on a project that he is working on. So I won't be here next week, but I'm confident Dan, Jack, Corey, Luis, and Brian will be able to pull this off without me being the rock stars that they are. Until next time, we'll see you later. Team Aquascape DK coming at you. We got Corey, Luis, Jack, and myself out here in Glen Ellen on this awesome pondless job. Hoping to get a lot done today. We got part of the retaining wall set. We got our frame rocks for our top main waterfall. Guys just leveled off one of the flat stones over there. It's looking awesome. Just wanted to walk you through here real quick where we're at. It's gonna be a great day, beautiful day out. Loving that view back there. We got some edge work done already. Still gotta run our plumbing up, but uh, everything's looking awesome. running things on this project. Things are running nice and smooth. What's your game plan for today, Corey? Well, we're gonna get the strap out first, <laughs> if we can, and then we're 
looks like we're gonna be finishing up the waterfall right here. We gotta get the spill stone set right here. We're gonna bring the spillway right up behind this rock so it's hidden and wrapping up a lot of edges. What else? Can you think of anything else, Jack? Lights. Lights have to go in, wing walls have to go in. Just a lot of detail work today. A lot of so detail nice. work. We're going for, if it's a really good day, we'll finish today, but tomorrow we'll definitely finish. Hopefully awesome. we get water running we'll today. That's yeah. the plan. Your water phone. Fingers crossed. Get the water running today, yeah. So we'll see how it goes. Cool. What's your thoughts, Luis? Yeah, I think it's lights. The more important today and watch the, you know, the rocks. Nobody needs water waterfalls, they just need right. lights. <laughs> you were supposed to get it in yesterday and then Luis forgot. <laughs> no, I forgot. <laughs> All good. All part of running the project. Good learning experience. Well, we're going to get back to work because we got tons to do. It's going to be a long day, but a great day. And we will check in later. See ya.